Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. This is your ultimate guide to unlocking the claws true power. I'm giving you 20 plus of my best tested tips to boost your FPS and get a smoother experience. Let's get right into it. Our very first step is in the BIOS. To enter, restart your claw and keep on pressing the R1 and R2 triggers. Once you're in, navigate to the advanced tab, find the user scenario option and change it to performance mode. Once you're done, move to save and exit and click on save and reset changes. This tests the hardware to prioritize performance before Windows even loads. Now that our hardware is in the right mode, let's update our software. Go to the MSI support website for the claw and install every single driver one by one. This ensures your chipset, audio and all components are running perfectly. Next, the graphics drivers. First, go directly to the Intel website and install the Intel graphics software. Once that's installed, use the Intel driver and support assistant tool to scan and ensure your graphics drivers are the absolute latest game on versions. And for a final foundational step, make sure Windows itself is fully up to date. Search for check for updates and run it until there are no more updates to install. With the foundation set, Let's tune the command center. Open MSI Center M and the first thing you should do is to go to News and Update and click Scan. This will check for any specific app updates or firmware that we might have missed. Next, go to User Scenarios. For this guide, we are going straight to Manual Mode. Set your PL1 to 30 watts and your PL2 to 37 watts. This ensures the chip is getting the maximum amount of power possible. While we are here, let's improve the usability performance. Go into the general settings tab and check the box set MSI Center M as the default startup screen. This makes the claw boot directly into your game library, just like a console. Finally, for MSI Center, let's go to the Mystic Light and turn off any RGB effects. It's a minor gain, but for an ultimate guide, every little bit of performance and battery life counts. Now let's change some Windows settings. First, search for game mode and make sure it's on. This helps Windows prioritize your game. Next, search for graphics settings and turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This can help reduce latency. On the same graphics page, find your games.exe file Add it and then set its preference to high performance to ensure it's using the full power of the Arc GPU. Let's add a feature that mimics the Steam Deck's famous quick resume. By default, the power button puts the claw to sleep. We'll change it to hibernate instead. Search for power options, go to choose what the power buttons do and set the action to hibernate. This is much more reliable for saving your game state. The next one is huge. Go to settings, privacy and security and turn device encryption off. This can give you a performance boost by removing the need for real-time decryption while gaming. To make sure the MSI Command Center M is always working, search for Install Apps, find MSI Center M, go to Advanced Options and set its background permissions to Always. Now let's clean up the background noise. Open Task Manager, go to the Startup Apps tab and disable any non-essential programs like OneDrive or Teams or any other ones. Just make sure not to remove any essential apps that are actually required for gaming. Search for Adjust the Appearance and set your visual effects to adjust for best performance. And for a final major Windows tweak, search for Core Isolation and turn off Memory Integrity. This security feature can create significant overhead. For a dedicated gaming device, the performance gain is often worth the security trade-off. Time for the driver level tweaks. Open the Intel graphics software panel. I recommend creating per game profile so you can set specific graphic settings for each game individually. While you're here, double check your power settings. Find the endurance gaming setting and make sure it's turned off. This feature saves battery by capping your frame rate and we want unrestricted performance. Let's deep load the windows. Go to your installed apps list and uninstall any pre-installed Microsoft apps you don't use. Things like OneNote, OneDrive, News and Weather can all go. And for a final tip, always keep 15-20% to 20 of your SSD storage free. When an SSD gets too full, its performance drops significantly, which means slower load time. 
And there you have it. Those are the 20 plus tips to unlock the true power of your MSI Claw 8 AI+. The most important ones are definitely the latest drivers, the firmware update, and disabling device encryption and core isolation. If this guide helped you out, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more handheld content. Let me know in the comments what your performance looks like after these tweaks. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.